guys, it's Alex. So I'm a big proponent of dating people outside of your comfort zone. But culturally, culturally, they have to be kind of similar. So I've come to find out that I cannot date anyone that was not raised in the United States. Meaning, you know, you have to kind of understand what sarcasm is. You kind of kind of have to understand how American guys treat women. Let me just wipe this lens off real quick. Make sure we're not getting any kind of stuff in there going on. <clears throat> so you kind of have to be on the same page that way. You know, if you don't understand South Park references, we're probably not going to get along. If you don't understand what satire and cynicism is, we're probably not going to get along. But in South Florida, it is a huge melting pot of everybody it's almost I don't want to say like New York because New York is pretty much Puerto Rican people and Italians here it's all of South America Brazil uh, uh, South America all of South America and there's a lot of German Russian whatever now I have the softest spot on the planet for a German or Russian woman light skin light eyes light hair tall I'm in here's a wedding ring we're not getting married. Um, <laughs> so, I decided for the first time ever to date a Russian woman or go on a date with a Russian woman. Now, it seems to be that a lot of people abroad are very educated, okay? Meaning they, they're more worldly than a lot of people that were born and raised in Florida specifically. Floridians are kind of ignorant and not that educated, not that well educated, not that I'm the smartest guy on the planet. But I can tell the difference being born and raised in the Northeast. So I, this woman talks, texts very well. We talked on the phone. She sounds very educated. She almost made me feel <clears throat> slightly intimidated because of her accent, because of what she said, the kind of work she did. She was a very successful woman. Didn't really need a guy. And I felt really flattered that she would go on a date with me. So I said, okay. Of course, in the phone conversation, I started saying, what kind of man are you looking for? Like, what is your type? She goes, well, I've dated, I dated Russian men very, very long, and uh, Russian men are not like I want. They're too aggressive. They are uh, too much, uh, too much uh, possessive. Too much. Uh, I was, oh, okay, good. So you want like a normal nice guy? Bang, got it. I got this shit. No problem. <clears throat> meet her and she is stunning she is fit she almost looks like a gymnast and i'm like woo wee this is gonna be good the date goes great you can tell she's into me i'm into her things are going really good i was like wow what a great first date this is awesome let's go on another date date ends well i go in okay i walk her to her car i give her a kiss i plant one on her and i give her you know, one of those slow, you know, like, this is how I would kiss you if I was in bed with you kind of kisses. And she was just like, whoo! I was like, all right. Because I wanted it to, you know, I wanted to see where it would go, and I liked her. I like, I had a good vibe, so I wanted to, you know, give her that, that good feeling of like, baby, this is what you got to look forward to. So, we made plans for a second date a week later. And that's where things <clears throat> kind of started to fall apart because I think culturally we were too different so we go on a second date take her down to uh, Del Rey downtown Del Rey on Atlantic Avenue if you know what that area is like it is popping at nighttime it is popping is people everywhere there's clubs everywhere there's bars and, and, and food everywhere <clears throat> so we go there and I am giving her the charm I turn up the charm to 10 I'm like I want to see what's going to go on. So, right about halfway through the date, she, you know, I'm very, I'm very like, you know, I open doors and I, I make sure that I walk on the correct side of the sidewalk. I want to make sure that I'm attentive, but I'm not some sap. I'm not like a puppy dog that you have to pet. You know, I'm, I'm very much myself. And she goes, so, you know, how, how are you when it comes to your women's? I said, what do you mean? She goes, are you very uh, dominant type? Are you very much like take control? 
I said, actually, um, it all depends on the situation. Are you talking about sex or are you talking about just in general relationship types? She goes, oh, I mean, uh, like, uh, uh, for instance, a Russian men. They take control. They take it and they they almost hit you overhead with club, and then they go and they and they they, they make the macho. They're very much macho, and they they take control. And uh, I'm like, okay, you just told me you don't like that. Well, I don't like it all the time. I like it uh, once in a while because it shows uh, you are interested. So I kind of started going. Well, I thought you. I thought you don't. You don't want like a guy like that. You just told me that you don't like Russian men like that. And that's why you're dating, you know, someone that isn't Russian because they're going to probably treat you pretty well. Yes, yes, I understand. But uh, that's, uh, I like a little bit of that. Okay. Sure. So we make it down to the, uh, we make it down, we, we we'll go for a walk and we make it down to the intercoastal, nice little area to sit down. And I'm going to be, I'm going to be like, ah, I'm going to mac on this girl. But again, I was in relationship mode back then, meaning I am seeking someone out to build something with. And the interaction that we've had has been physical, right? Very physical, a lot of touching, a lot of, you know, looking at each other, but not a lot of, you know, talking to see what what you're, you know, if you're compatible. So we go sit down and I'm telling her about my past and this and that, and she's not digging it. She's like, you know, it's almost like a, you're not, like me you don't like me because you're talking about yourself and asking me questions about my family and you're not taking control <laughs> <I'm> like <clears throat> so i said i mean i could just bonk you over the head and just you know bang you at, on a park bench sarcasm i do not want that what kind of woman i'm like oh okay i said it's sarcasm it's a joke and she's like i don't understand i go i i, I know this you gotta understand I'm respectful, I'm nice. If you want me to be a macho prick that's gonna kind of ignore you and treat you like shit and that makes you seek me out, that's just not my role and we're probably not compatible if that's what you want. That made her super insecure. Oh, what are you saying? Are you saying you do not like me? You do not want to pursue me because if you want it, you take it. <laughs> so I'm like, are you advocating rape? Like, I don't understand. I have no idea what she was talking about. So I said, look, I like you. I'm on a date with you. And I'd like to see you again. But the more you talk about what you want, it seems like to me that you want a Russian guy. You want Russian attitude in a non-Russian body. That's literally not what I do. If you want that very cold, stoic, you know, you know, eat Ivan Drago kind of attitude if he dies he dies <laughs> that's not me I'm actually pretty animated pretty nice and gonna treat you pretty good but you want something that I don't know doesn't seem to exist so the date ends I walk her back to her car this time I didn't plant a big massive kiss on her because now I'm getting an odd vibe that she wants me to be like a Russian dude sometimes <laughs> and I'm like hey you know uh, have a good night and here's a hug and she just kind of like uh, you know she was like I can't believe he didn't make out with me he didn't take me he must not like me wow so this is I think a cultural difference I think she thinks that in order for men to show interest in her they almost have to be possessive they almost have to be neurotic stoic you know like checking up on you every two seconds and I was very much like you do you and when we get together we get together so what does she do Huh. She decides to make a fake account on the same website we met in order to lure me out to go somewhere just to show me a lesson. The reason I knew this is, this is how. I get a message from an insanely attractive girl on uh, the same, it was OkCupid, okay on OkCupid. Okay and I went, this never happens. I know what I look like. I have mirrors in my apartment. I don't think I look that good to attract that kind of woman based on sheer looks and what I had going on in my profile. So I went, hmm, let me see where this is going. Oh, I like you very, she typed like she talked. The moment I started, you know, see, you know, seeing the things she was saying to me, I started saying it in a Russian accent. 
Hello there, Alex. You look very handsome. I would like to get to know you. I very much am interested in seeing where we could go. I like very aggressive men. <laughs> I, okay, that's her. Because, <laughs> you know, the way she talked is the way she typed. So I was like, okay. So now I started being like total shithead. All right, what do you want to do? You want to meet up tonight? And she was like, yes, tonight. I go, where? Oh, Bellagio, West Palm Beach. Okay, this is all during texting. And she only had one picture. I said, Let, do me a favor, send me more pictures of yourself, please. I really want to see more pictures of you. Can you text them to me? She goes, yes, very much. I send, them, I send her my phone number. She is so fucking retarded. She used her same phone number that I, from the other, you know, the Russian girl's phone number to send me a text of a picture of a different chick. I was like, did you Google image these fucking uh, pictures? So I ended up going, all right, let me see how, uh, how it's going to go down. <clears throat> so she's like, meet me at Bellagio. I'll be there. Get me Bloody Mary. Okay. So I went to the, is it Bellagio? I think it's Bellagio. I think it's Bellagio. It's an Italian restaurant. So I, I, I said, I'm here. I waited like 15 minutes. I said, I'm here. I'm, I'm still at home in my fucking shorts. She goes, good. Get me Bloody Mary and picture of Bloody Mary. So I Google imaged a picture of a Bloody Mary and I was like, here you go, ready and waiting. And she goes, aha, I got you. What did you get? Aha, it is me. I forget her name even. I go, yeah, I don't know what. She was like, it is, and she said her name. I said, I said, I know, it's you. You, you type like you talk. You type like a Russian woman talks. You did not, you did not know it was me. I got you. I made you go all the way to West Palm in order to get me drink, you must understand I'm very savvy, and I don't and I don't like men not showing me that I am a, a pursuable. <laughs> then I took then I took a selfie of me in my in my t-shirt and shorts. I'm like I'm actually home right now. She goes, No, that's old picture. You are at Bellagio. I am here. <laughs> I said, Yo, shit. holy shit, unbelievable, unbelievable. And so. Because I didn't show interest in her like Russian men would, because I was respectful and kind of giving her space and time to, I don't know, open up and see if everything develops naturally, she felt insanely insecure about that, didn't think I was interested, thought I was playing her, went as far as to make a fake profile to try to lure me outside the house just to show me a lesson. And that's when I thought to myself, I cannot date anyone that was not raised in the United States because culturally, you have to be on the same page, in my opinion. I don't understand how these guys go to Colombia and get a wife and barely know their language and get along. Maybe they're just enthralled with their looks. But I need to be able to get along with you and talk to you. And this person didn't understand what I was trying to do. And that made me think, culturally, I have to be with someone that was not only born and raised here in America and English is their first language, but understands cynicism, sarcasm, you know, regular person. Just thought I'd give you guys a bit of a story of what had happened to me and how I've come to, you know, how I've come to learn what's suitable for me based on my dating life out there. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for listening. Talk to you later.